Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here or Activate Moon. I don't usually vlog, but you may not have heard that Melbourne is in the middle of a heat wave. So if I'm putting up an ice block against my skin, it's just basically trying to keep cool. Now the reason I'm not vlogging about our first assignment, which is to, what was it? Oh yeah, where the cheating is learning. The reason is I can't stay in this room any longer than I have to. So I'm just going to tell my story. A couple of years back I was working for a financial service provider, one of the big four banks in Australia, and on a mortgage transformation program. It involved a lot of change working with the, uh, the mortgage processing teams and basically upskilling them on a whole heap of new systems changes and new processes. First joined the team though they gave me all these brilliant tools, they gave me Captivate, they gave me access to all the tools and technology that uh, I could use uh, and they basically said now go ahead and start designing and developing stuff, all the processes, all the training that everyone needs to be trained up on. Here it is, online learning, simulations, go wild. Well, what I did was uh, basically I took a step back after <laughs> crying in my hands first up with the amount of jobs. No, I didn't cry. It was only a joke. Um, but I basically started exploring, well, what were the real needs in the business? What, what did people need to know? What did they need to do? Um, uh, what context were they, were, were they working in? What were the systems that they needed to use? and basically find out who were the subject matter experts in those processes. Through my travels and my explorations and my research, I came across uh, instructional coaching. Now, I had done some instructional coaching many, many years ago when I was in the Navy, but I did a YouTube search and I stumbled across these really old black and white videos from the 1950s, you know the type that I'm, I'm talking about, and they had some really good uh, advice on how to coach someone through a particular process, a task, or a skill, and I thought, ah, this is what I need. We need to basically use and ex explore the use of using subject matter based coaches using the instructional coaching model that was developed pre-World War, um, around the 19, late 1930s, and, and use that. So, in effect, I came up with, the, uh, uh, I guess, a model, uh, an instructional coaching model based on those really old models uh, that were tried and tested, uh, that, were, that had worked for that particular need back then. But I just tweaked it to be able to be used in a 21st century workplace using subject matter experts as workplace coaches who could use that model which involved uh, questioning, demonstrating, uh, showing, uh, practice, uh, skills and assessment all on the job. Now the result of that was I worked quite closely with the team leaders to identify who were the subject matter experts in their teams who can act as workplace coaches and I put them through the instructional coaching um, workshop and actually showed them some skills of how they could do it. The ultimate result was that uh, the SMEs became teachers and there was a lot more positive uh, feeling towards the, the material, the fact that uh, people didn't have to uh, go through massive uh, you know, online learning or boring e-learning courses. In actual fact, they had a subject matter expert right there next to, him, next to them who could provide them the context of what they were doing. Supplemented with some online performance support, uh, which also helped them greatly. Now, how is this cheating? Well, basically, sometimes, you know, you can put all these fantastic new mobile learning, new innovative tools and techniques in our hands, but sometimes you just need to go back to the basics. Uh, did I feel cheated? Yeah, I felt slightly, I did feel slightly cheated because I wasn't offering what people thought I was going to offer. 
with regards to some nifty uh, tools and techniques. But what I did give them was basically the skills for their subject matter experts to become workplace coaches. And in effect, I did deliver on that. So it just goes to show that sometimes, you know, you might feel that you're, you're, you're cheating using um, old older systems, but you know what? They're tried and tested, and if they work, they get the job done. So that's my example of cheating as learning. Thanks.